before you watch a video, I just wanted to say I hope it's not too confusing. The last thing I want to do is give complicated, confusing videos. I had the idea to make this video for a while, but when I started to make it, it seemed like it was getting complicated and I wasn't going to post it up. Um, but then I decided it'd be such a waste just sitting on my computer and uh, I'll post it and maybe it helps someone save uh, from a blown engine. I'm going to put links in the description and you can watch other people blow up their engines. And when you watch their videos, give them a like because they don't got to post their mistake videos. And uh, those are so valuable as a learning tool versus watching a thousand people do it perfectly. And two points I wanted to make. This is the reason why you keep your speed slow when you're first learning how to drive and you go through the gears. You go from first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth gear at low speeds like uh, 50 kilometers an hour because if you make a mistake at those lower speeds, the chance of you blowing up your engine is very unlikely. Make those same mistakes at, make a downshift, uh, miss shift at 100 plus, for sure you're going to be buying a new engine. So keep the speeds low, don't get too confident, make sure you are comfortable with the shifter and clutch. And this is another reason why you don't pop up your foot from the floor when you're releasing your clutch. Because if you've made a downshift, miss shift, and you pop up your clutch really quickly, the engine's just going to scream up and uh, blow up. But if you release it smoothly, as soon as you bring it up from the floor, you will hear and feel your engine start to scream and spin up really fast and you can clutch in. When you clutch in, you disengage the transmission and uh, you don't blow up your uh, engine. Then you can put it back in the right gear you want it to go to. But if you pop it out, you're asking for trouble. And if you're racing, you're going fast, go ahead and pop it out. But if you're driving on the street, there's no reason to be popping out your clutch ever. So today we're going to learn about mist shifts and what exactly are mist shifts and the two different kinds of mist shifts. Manual transmission cars are quite strong, except uh, they are fragile when abused the wrong way. They can take a lot of abuse, but if you do the wrong thing, uh, you end up with a wrecked clutch or you can end up with a wrecked engine. And you'll uh, be buying either a new engine or a new car, depending on the situation. So miss shift is exactly how it sounds it's a mistake shifting and there are two different kinds of miss shifts so the first kind of miss shift is one where you get stuck out of gear into a neutral so you're pulling it from first to second but halfway you let out your clutch usually that is the problem people let out their clutch too quickly before it is in gear and they might have it halfway engaged maybe feel a little bit of grind or it might totally be stuck in the neutral out of gear and then you get back on your gas and you get a big rev of the engine where nothing is happening and uh, the engine can rev very high especially if you're already moving at a high rate of speed so we're going to do a couple of slow miss shifts into neutral, then I'll speed it up uh, with more RPM and we'll do a couple of those so you can see how it looks. How easy it is to over rev the engine. Okay, so first to second miss shift. Okay, so and what do you do in that situation? You just put in the gear you want it to go to. Don't panic. Okay, so a slow second to third miss shift looks like this. Okay, so 
So you probably recognize that. You've probably done it a couple of times. Uh, it happens to everybody, but especially when you're learning how to drive. Let's do it again. Okay, stuck out of gear. Just clutch in, put it whatever gear you wanted to. Let's speed it up and see how easy it is to really over rev the engine more than you wanted it to, okay? So I'm gonna put in second gear, get the RPMs up. Okay. I'm gonna go to third. Okay. So I easily can hit 6,000, 65, 7,000 without giving much gas because I'm already rubbing at a high RPM. Let's do it again. So I'm in second gear. I want to go to third. I'm stuck out of gear, right? So here we're going to do one from third to fourth. You forgot to put it in gear. And so of course you just clutch in and put it in fourth gear. So it is not really a big deal, something to worry about. You cannot really damage your engine from doing this kind of misshift because the computer will limit your RPM. So on this car, the rev limiter is at... ...7,000 RPM. I cannot push it past 7,000 because the computer won't let me. So whatever you do with the gas pedal, you won't be able to push the car past 7,000 RPM. So even if you miss the shift in neutral and over rev it, the RPM will stop at the safe 7,000 RPM. So the second type of misshift is called a money shift because most likely if you do this kind of misshift, you're going to be spending a lot of money uh, to fix the, your engine. And the way this works is you can physically make the engine turn more than it is designed for. So the computer cannot protect it in this instance. You can make it spin past 7,000. It might go to 14,000. And the way this works is a downshift misshift. So you're going from, say, uh, you want to go from third to fourth, but instead you go to second gear. Or you want to go from fifth to fourth, but instead you go from 5th to 2nd gear. Or you want to go from 4th to 3rd and somehow you jam it into 1st gear. This will physically force the engine to spin faster than it was designed for. So I'm going to show some examples of this and just pretend I am going at highway speeds and uh, imagine the, how the RPM would climb and the engine would over rev. So here's some examples. I'm in third gear. I want to go to fourth and instead I go to second. But let's go to fourth and see how it looks on the RPM gauge. Okay, so I go to fourth and the RPMs drop. 
Now we're going to go to second and see how it looks. So I want to go to fourth, but I make a mistake. I miss shift into second here. The RPMs climb. So if you're on the highway already in third gear doing a, a hundred and you want to go to fourth, but instead you hit second, your RPMs are going to climb because you're forcing the engine to spin faster. This has nothing to do with your gas pedal. As you can see, I didn't touch the gas, so let's see again. I'm in third, I want to go to fourth, okay, but now I'm going to go to second, no gas pedal, RPMs climb. I'm forcing the engine to spin faster. Or for another another example, I want to go from second to third, but instead I jam it into first. So I'm in first gear, I go to second gear, I speed up a bit. Now I want to go to third, but somehow I force it into first. I let out my clutch and the engine revs and depending how fast you're going it's easily going to over rev and that's when you get a blown engine you cannot protect against that with a computer because you're physically forcing the engine to turn that fast I put some links in the description for videos of people who are experienced drivers misshifting. And uh, it is something that just happens to everyone. And uh, if it hasn't happened to you, it's probably going to happen. Uh, you can't say it will never happen. You can't protect against that. There's nothing uh, you can do like uh, uh, electronically to protect against that kind of over rev when you physically force the engine to turn faster than it's designed for and uh, but there is a way especially if you're learning how to drive to uh, try to avoid it and learn when you've made a mistake and the best way to do that is not to pop your clutch out if you pop your clutch out when you've made a mistake and gone into the wrong gear that's when you get the problem it will just spin up so fast before you even realize you've made a misshift. But if you let out your clutch smoothly, like uh, look at my two-step video, you will know uh, as soon as it starts to over rev, you will hear it and you can press your clutch in. It will give you that chance. But if you pop out your clutch very fast when you're learning how to drive, uh, you will have no chance